Hey, welcome to the channel. So this really cool seven drawer standing freezer from Costco has been catching a lot of attention. They've been selling out of it and it's just really a neat design with those seven drawers like that. And I was ready to buy on the spot and then I saw this video online from another guy and he said that his chest freezer, which is smaller, didn't even fit in the bigger Costco freezer. So I thought, you know, I've got almost the same chest freezer that I'm trying to replace and why don't I give it a try? So you can see my chest freezer, maybe 70%, 75% full. Now I've got it emptied. And I've got all of that put in the new Costco freezer. And so we'll take a look at how that went. But let me first show you the really small footprint this thing has. It actually takes up less floor space than my much smaller chest freezer. And that's because it's stacked vertically with this really cool organization. And so, um, you know, the chest freezer does hold a lot of stuff. It may be more efficient, but I don't think you can really understate or overstate how cool it is having these drawers and how much nicer it is just having your stuff organized. So let's take a look how I did. So the top drawers got just frozen fruit and you can see it's only like 40% full. The next drawer is getting much more full, but there's still space. This one's maybe 80% full. I've got snacks and ice cream and stuff in here down to drawer three. And by the way, there's a little wide angle view up in the corner there if you want to see what it looks like. Uh, that one was pretty full. This next drawer only has really a large pizza and some potatoes and uh, it doesn't look like it, but this drawer is mostly empty because that pizza is so skinny. By the way, here's a cool feature. All of the drawers have their own cooling shelf. And so you don't have to worry about uneven cooling. All right, this next one, again, not completely full. I got meat in there and down to drawer number six. Oh, by the way, this this is an extra large pizza that I can't I can't even get this thing to fit in my big Samsung side by side. It's like a 23 foot uh, freezer fridge because there's just no good spot in the freezer. It's not big enough, but it fits easy in this thing. So again, drawer six here, still lots of space. And then this last drawer on the bottom, it's smaller, but I didn't even use it. So it's empty. And as you can see, I had no problem getting everything from my chest freezer into this one. And it's much, much better organized. If you've never had a chest freezer before, um, they are a little difficult to use. Because what happens is when you start filling them up, the bottom one third becomes kind of inaccessible because you've got so much stuff crammed down in there and you're bending over to work on it and get in there and it's freezing, your hands are freezing. And a lot of times you forget what's in there because it's stuff just gets buried. But here you can see I've got instant access to everything I want. I can have separate drawers, for separate kinds of food. And so, you know, I'm willing to give up a little bit of space to have more organization. Um, maybe the 11 foot chest freezer holds more than this 11 foot version with drawers. But I love the version with the drawers. It just makes it so nice. And um, I'm not having to dig bend over and dig in an ice box and, and find things that I forgot about. Pretty happy with this. Um, chest freezers, you know, they are nice, especially if you're only concerned with, with as much space as possible and saving money. They're a good value, but definitely the shelving situation here is really cool. And I don't think you can really overstate just how convenient this is and how nice it is to always know where things are. Anyway, um, I hope this helps. If you got any questions, please drop them below. And um, you know, if I did help you out, consider liking and subbing to the channel. We'll see you next time. Thanks.